Learn and play online. Telling the time o'clock. Make sure you check out our other time videos if you haven't already. This video is based on a worksheet. You can find the link to the worksheet in the description box. Make sure you pause the video as many times as you need. Let's have a look at question number one. The instruction says, look at the times on the clocks below and write the digital times for each. Now we're going to look at question A. If you look at the minute hand, which is the longer hand, it is pointing at the number 12. So that means it is something o'clock. The hour hand, which is the shorter hand, is pointing at the four. So that means the time showing on the analog clock is four o'clock. Let's move on to question B. On this clock, the minute hand is still pointing at the 12, so it is still something o'clock. The hour hand though is pointing at the 10, so that must mean it is 10 o'clock. Now let's move on to question C. The minute hand is pointing at the 12, so it is something o'clock. The hour hand is pointing at the 7, so that means it is 7 o'clock. Let's move on to question D. Now it's your turn to have a go. What is the time on the clock? Write the answer down on your worksheet. The time is 12 o'clock. Now let's move on to question two. The instruction says, for each of the questions below, draw the hands for the clocks. The digital time says five o'clock. To draw this on the analog clock, we need to draw the minute hand pointing to the 12 to show that it is something o'clock. The hour hand must be pointing to the five. You must make sure that the hour hand is shorter than your minute hand. Moving on to question B. The digital time reads 3 o'clock. To show this on the analog clock, we must have the minute hand pointing at the 12. The hour hand must be pointing at the 3. Remember to draw your hour hand shorter than your minute hand. Now let's move on to question C. The digital time says 8 o'clock. That means our minute hand is pointing to the 12. And the hour hand is pointing at the 8. Let's move on to question D. Now it's your turn to have a go. The digital time reads one o'clock. Have a think about where your minute hand should be drawn and have a think about where your hour hand should be pointing. Remember to draw your hour hand shorter than your minute hand. This is what your clock should look like. Now let's move on to the last four questions of the worksheet. Read the times in the boxes below and draw the hands for the analog clocks above. Make sure you pause the video now to give yourself time to answer these questions. There will be a countdown before we show you the answers. This is what your clock should look like. We hope you got all the answers correct. 
Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe for more videos.